Now, there was another story that 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 hit me also in the Washington Post. I, I, I don't take a print subscription to the Washington Post. I read it online. I have an online subscription. So I'm cruising through the Washington Post this morning. And then I see this. The Wyoming Republican Party says it will no longer recognize Liz Cheney as a Republican after she criticized Trump. Now, I, I, <laughs> as you know, I'm no fan of the Cheney family. As a matter of fact, I think her father is a war criminal. And he's, he's just a, a, a rotten bastard. I, I really believe that. I mean, I, I just, there's nothing about Dick Cheney that I would find throughout his entire political career that I would find admirable. Liz Cheney has been a dyed-in-the-wool conservative Republican. Period. EOM. You don't have to go any further. But as she was a died in and is a died in the wool Republican conservative, she voted to impeach the filthy bastard Donald Trump and has been vocal in her criticisms because she respects, I am assuming, the Constitution. And she said, um, well, first of all, she, she got to be the sole representative of, of Wyoming because of their population. They only have one. Um, she won her father's old seat in 2016. So she's been in Congress for five years now, and she's up for re-election in 2022, of course. And she has said in the past, quote, I've been in politics a long time. It's in my blood, end quote. Uh, she was 12 years old when she started traveling across the state uh, with her old man to help him win uh, the seat in the House all those years ago. But on Saturday, day before yesterday, I mean, day before the day before yesterday, uh, the, uh, the Wyoming Republican Party dumped her and called on the national Republicans to excommunicate her from the party entirely. I mean, this is like Catholicism, isn't it? Well, of course. She has one of the most conservative voting records in the House. But she's really gotten a lot of criticism over the past year because she criticized Trump over his role in the riot on January 6th. And as a result of that, this weekend, this past weekend, her fellow Wyoming Christian fascists offered what not long ago would have been a stunning rebuke, it says here, of former Vice President Richard Cheney's daughter. And that is the state's Central Committee. Doesn't that sound so goddamn Soviet, doesn't it? The Central Committee of the State Republican Party voted 31 to 29 to no longer recognize her as a Republican. Now, it was a close vote. 29 of the delegates to the Central Committee voted to continue to recognize Liz Cheney for what she is, a conservative Republican. But the majority said, no, 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 no. And in the resolution that was approved, the Central Committee called on the Republican leaders, scum all of them in the House of Representatives, to take away all of her committee assignments excommunicate her from the Republican Party altogether, altogether and, quote, to assist and expedite her seamless exodus from the Republican Party, end quote. Now, like me, you probably noticed the biblical references, several of them. But that's what the Christian Fascist Party is the walking corpse that was the Republican Party. It is now a religious cult. And Liz Cheney's spokesman laughed it off. As a matter of fact, he called it laughable, that was his word, to suggest she was, quote, anything but a committed conservative Republican, end quote. And the spokesman, his name is Jeremy Adler, 
He told the Washington Post in an email this, quote, she is bound by her oath to the Constitution. Sadly, a portion of the Wyoming GOP leadership has abandoned that fundamental principle and instead allowed themselves to be held hostage to the lies of a dangerous and irrational man. End quote. Ow, talk some shit, Jeremy. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, of course. Everything Jeremy said is true. Yes, she is bound by her oath. Yes, she is and always has been, one assumes uh, or presumes, a committed conservative Republican. And yes, the leadership, the Central Committee (laughs) of the Republican Christian Fascists, it has abandoned the fundamental principles of conservatism. And yes, it has allowed itself to be held hostage, I like this, to the lies of a dangerous and irrational man, end quote. Uh Uh-huh. Now, her, uh, now I said a moment ago, I'm not sure, I said that she had voted for impeachment. Did she? I'm not, I'm I'm not sure. I, I don't think she did. No. But her criticism of Trump's role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol Uh, started immediately after that filthy bastard Donald Trump organized an instigated insurrection against the United States. Uh, Several hours after the attack began, she blamed Trump for unleashing the mob. And, oh yeah, then a week later, she was one of 10 House Republicans who voted to impeach Trump for his role in the riot. I, I guess the first time she voted no, this time, the second time she voted yes. Uh, At the time, Liz Cheney uh, issued a statement that said, quote, The president of the United States summoned this mob, assembled the mob, and lit the flame of this attack. There has never been a greater betrayal by a president of the United States of his office and his oath to the Constitution, end quote. Oh, my goodness. Why? Of course they're going to vote to excommunicate her. Of course they're going to vote to um, expedite her exodus from the Christian fascist party because she told the truth and she backed it up with the law of the land. He violated his oath to the Constitution. So, Cheney has said that she's publicly fighting Trump on principle, and and she warned that letting him falsely claim the election was stolen just completely rips democracy and also rips the Republican Party's core values. But... Madam Representative, may I suggest that there is no Republican Party anymore. It, it, it doesn't exist. There is the Christian Fascist Party, and its core value is worship of Trump. Everything else is secondary. And if you remember, because of her criticism of Trump, the uh, uh, Christian fascists in the U.S. House tossed her out of her leadership position back in May. Now, meanwhile, the orange vomit, this filthy, destructive pig that grunts on top of his stack of cheeseburgers, you know who I'm referring to, he has gloated over Cheney's downfall within what used to be the Republican Party. In fact, remember he called her, quote, a bitter, horrible human being? He called her a bitter, horrible human being. Who would have thought, I mean, seriously, who would have thought that that either political party, Republican or Democratic, would have thrown somebody or attempted to throw somebody out of their party for upholding the U.S. Constitution? I mean, holy jumping Jesus. I, I, I mean, that it's staggering. To, to me, it is to think that this is what the Christian fascists have done. 
This is what Trump has unleashed. And again, I, I don't place all the blame on Trump. Trump was just the ugly boil that, that burst. Uh, this pimple has been developing since the Reagan years. But, but Trump was, was the, the poison that just erupted over our political system. And here we are. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.